Hey friends, today's learning goal is that I can use basic facts to approximate or estimate decimal quotients with two-digit divisors and reason about the placement of the decimal point. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to divide some num decimal numbers by a two-digit divisor and estimate what that quotient is going to be and figure out where to put the decimal. So. Get ready to use your brains, get your thinking caps on, and get a piece of paper and a pencil and write these down while I'm doing them. All right, friends, so the first problem we're going to start off with is 39 and 1 tenth divided by 17. Now, we're going to round the divisor first. So, 17 is close to what number that will make this easy to divide? It's close to 20. So, we're going to divide by 20. Now, what can I round 39 and 1 tenth to that could be easily divided by 20? I can round that to 40. And I know that 40 divided by 20 is 2. So 39 and 1 tenth divided by 17 is about 2. Make sure you're writing this down. Our next problem is 3 and 91 hundredths divided by 17. Again, we're going to round our divisor first. 17 is close to 20, so I'm going to write down divided by 20. Now, 3 and 91 hundredths is close to what whole number? It's close to 4. So now, 4 divided by 20 Remember what we did yesterday, I could do 4 divided by 2 divided by 10. So, if I do 4, 4 divided by 2 divided by 10, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 divided by 10 is two tenths. So three and ninety one hundredths divided by seventeen is about two tenths. And I know this is the right place to put my decimal point because I'm dividing by a multiple of ten. Okay. Our next problem is slightly different. Let's say I have 63 and 6 tenths pounds of rice, and I'm going to put it into 73 bags. And I need to figure out how much rice is in each bag. So, is my, is the amount of rice in each bag going to be more or less than 1? Well, it's going to be less than 1 because 73 is bigger than 63. So I know that it has to be less than 1 because 73 times 1 is 73 and the number I'm dividing is less than 73. So to get started, let's round our divisor first. 73 is close to 70. Now, I can keep part of my number here. I know that 63 is a multiple of 7. So if I round this to 63, I can say 63 divided by 7 divided by 10, which is equal to 9 divided by 10, which is equal to 9 tenths. So, 63 and 6 tenths divided by 73 is about 9 tenths. Okay, hope you're staying with me. When we look at this problem, 6 and 36 hundredths divided by 73, again, I have the same numbers I did in the, first pro the last problem, but this time the decimal's in a different spot. So this time I only have 6 to the left of my decimal. So I have six ones. If I'm going to divide six ones by seven tens, my number is going to get a lot smaller. So 
Again, I'm going to round my divisor first. That's going to be 70. And I can say 63 hundredths divided by 70. So I could leave that decimal place there, or I could say 63 hundredths No, sorry, 630 hundredths. Let me rewrite that for you. 630 hundredths. Because that's what 6 and 3 tenths is equal to. And if I divide that by 70, the 630 hundredths, and I divide it by 70, that's going to equal 9 hundredths. So... 6 and 36 hundredths divided by 73 is about 9, Ms. Walker's having a hard time here all of a sudden, 9 hundredths. Okay, so make sure you're writing these down with me. The next one gets a little trickier. Okay, our last problem together is 11 and 72 hundredths divided by 42. So again, very first thing we're going to do, we're going to estimate that divisor. So 42 is close to 40, and I'm dividing. Now, 11 and 72 hundredths. 11 is close to what number that I could divide evenly by 4? It's close to 12. Now, to make my life easy, I'm going to say that this is 12 hundred hundredths. I didn't leave enough space. I'm going to write it like this. So 12 hundred hundredths divided by 40 equals what? Well, I know that I could say 12 hundred hundredths is equal to 12. And if I divide 12 by 40, What's this can is equal to 12 divided by 4 divided by 10. 12 divided by 4 is 3, and we divide that by 10, and that equals 3 tenths. So 11 and 72 hundredths divided by 42 is about three tenths. I know this might be a little confusing. Just do the best you can on the problem set and let me know if you have any questions.